So you did talk about kind of at the beginning, uh, you know, when I jokingly asked you how much a website costs, um, mm. you, you had mentioned it depends on part of it depends on how much they're willing to pay or what they're looking to spend. Mm -hmm. So that leads me into kind of more like a value based pricing system uh, where you're kind of sure. looking at that um, that company and wanting to be the right fit for them. You know, obviously you don't want to be too expensive for somebody, then you're not a good fit. Mm -hmm. But also at the same point, if you're dealing with a large company and you come in with a way too cheap proposal, uh, they're not going to take you seriously. Yeah. So you can't, yeah. it, it's very difficult to pick a standard pricing and say, this is what I'm going to charge mom and pop. And this is what I'm going to charge big mm -hmm. international corporations. So how does that factor into your pricing? Uh, so there's a couple things. Um, one of them is, you know, uh, it, I, I have a pretty good idea who our best case customer is. You know, I know roughly how many people are on staff, kind of how much, what their revenue is per year, an idea of what a marketing budget would be in there. So I know that my default price point kind of fits within that. But I know that that same exact website, we could probably do our cost much less and still make a profit. Um, so as I start to feel out where their business is at, um, how much budget they have, I try to frame it out as, all right, well, we can do this for this much. You know, if you want the all in, it's uh, going to be this much. Uh, to, to touch on all in real quick, because it's something you mentioned uh, triggered this. What I never want to do with a customer is have them go all in with their budget to do a project for them, because the expectation that they're going to have set for whatever it is that they're trying to pay you, you're never, ever, ever going to be able to reach that expectation. Um, and there's so much more that can happen. So we're a full scale digital marketing agency. We don't just build websites, but we do other stuff that ends up driving traffic to that. If you're all in on just the website, there's no budget left over to do any of the additional stuff as well. So um, if there's any tip I can give is if somebody's trying to go all in, try to avoid that as much as possible because it's just going to be a nightmare over the long term. You're never going to meet that expectation. 